Teresa Giacino here at the Mary Sue. Last week, I wrote about Gabrielle Union and how in response to a recent interview question about the missteps of her white peers in Hollywood regarding race, that she'd be willing to, quote, help to explain the oppressive systems that have benefited and allowed them to say these careless, insensitive, and offensive things, end quote. While her taking the time to educate in this way is important, it's sad that she even has to. Too often it becomes the burden of people of color to constantly explain their oppression, which can be exhausting to people for whom just getting by every day is a struggle. Here are some things to keep in mind if you genuinely want to be an ally to people of color as a denizen of the internet. Many of these ideas were mentioned in the comments at my post over at the Mary Sue, because our commenting community is quite often a bunch of geniuses. First, understand that there's a big difference between talking about this stuff with friends of color and talking about it with strangers on the internet. Of course, if you want suggestions on books and articles to read, sources to go to, or just a deeper understanding of personal experience, you can go to your friends of color. They're already your friend and they're already invested in you. However, don't expect them to always give you answers. And if you're in an internet comment thread and talking to people you don't know, it's not the best time to ask for citations or defenses from people of color. On that note, reach out to your friends of color and let them know that they're seen and heard. After tragedies like the recent spate of shootings of unarmed black men, the black men and women in your life will likely be emotionally drained. If they post on Facebook, acknowledge their feelings and let them know you see them and are there to listen. Even if they don't, maybe reach out with an email or a phone call. It'll go a long way. Lastly, if you come across a comment thread discussing race, don't comment. Instead, read the link originally posted, then scroll through all the comments and read everything. Chances are, anything you wanted to ask or address has already been asked or addressed. If you do all that and you still have a question, reach out to the person privately and ask them to kindly answer your question if they're able. This takes the pressure off the mob scene and lets someone know that you genuinely want to learn, as opposed to being there to derail a conversation or create a gotcha moment in public. If you can't reach out to them directly because they're either not a friend of yours or the platform you're using doesn't allow it, you probably shouldn't be asking that person. These are just a couple of tiny ways in which you can be an ally while making life a little easier for people of color as we navigate conversations about race. Have any other suggestions or want to suggest reading material? Comment below!